This video is going to be a technical analysis update for Bitcoin. And yes, my friend, you have read the title of this video correctly. Today, I sold off 50% of my Bitcoin long position, which I was accumulating down here. And I actually added more size to my position here on Bitcoin. However, here's the thing. I've been trading Bitcoin, not via Bitcoin directly, but via MicroStrategy stock, which is this pink line here. And as you guys can see, MicroStrategy stock is massively outperforming the returns of Bitcoin right now. And as you can see, the price of MicroStrategy stock is pretty much breaking off to a new all-time high price as I film this video right now. So I decided to sell off 50% of my position up here, secure the bag because there is a massive decoupling right now between the price of MicroStrategy stock and Bitcoin. So to be clear, I'm still bullish that Bitcoin is going to break up to its all-time high price, but in the short run, for whatever reason, TradFi are very bullish on MicroStrategy stock, probably because Michael Saylor keeps raising more capital to buy Bitcoin. As a result, we're seeing the price of MicroStrategy stock is pretty much breaking off to a new all-time high price. So there's two reasons why I've sold profits on MicroStrategy up here whilst Bitcoin is down here. Firstly, to lock in profits, obviously price has pretty much come up to the all-time high price and I rode the rotation from the bottom of the range and I added more size to my position here. So from the bottom of the range all the way up here, that was like a 54% return. And obviously when I'm trading micro strategy stock, I'm adding a lot of size. This isn't like speculating on some random shitcoin or deck screener. You can position size comfortably a large amount of capital here and you still have liquidity to get in and out of your trade nice and easily. Micro strategy stock is basically trading Bitcoin on leverage without liquidation risk. At least that's what I thought until there was this massive decoupling which we're seeing right here where the price of Bitcoin is actually really struggling to break outside of this downwards regression trend channel which are these white lines here on my chart whereas the price of MicroStrategy broke through it like a piece of cake. So in the short run we're seeing a clear outperformance of MicroStrategy stock compared to Bitcoin which is the underlying asset which is a little bit concerning for me. I want to understand why Bitcoin is underperforming MicroStrategy so much. So in the event that the price of Bitcoin goes up and catches up to the all-time high price, I think it's pretty likely that MicroStrategy stock will continue to rip up, which is why I still hold 50% of my position there. However, in the short run, if Bitcoin actually decides to pull back, maybe back down to $60,000, as we're seeing on the three-day time frame, momentum is starting to look like it's topping out and we're seeing money flow tapering off. This is when I'll re-add size back to my position. So I personally believe at some point in Q4, Bitcoin will break out of this time-tested regression trend channel and then move up higher. Probably to around $80,000 is my high conviction price target. But you know what? We might see a move very quickly up to $100,000 if Donald Trump wins this upcoming election. And we can see right now in poly markets, he is taking the lead, which is maybe fueling the upwards movement that we're seeing in micro strategy right now. The time frame that I'm watching very closely right now for the Bitcoin chart is the three-day time Time frame and I'm mainly watching this momentum wave right here as money flow is actually starting to taper off. However, if you guys have been watching the Trading Drip channel videos quite consistently, you would have seen me say a few weeks ago that I think there is a scenario that we're putting in a bear trap just like what happened back here. Do you see how that momentum wave put in a red dot as money flow was tapering off and then suddenly something changed, like a fundamental piece of news changed. Maybe a little something like this where the pro-crypto candidate really starts to take the lead. Just like what happened when there was the Trump assassination attempt and then the price of Bitcoin pushed up pretty quickly up to around $70,000. Price of Bitcoin should easily see a retest of $70,000, which is that green line that I've just thrown onto my chart, if we suddenly see Trump taking the lead here in poly markets. And when you really think about it, what is going to be the major catalyst in Q4 that will send the price of Bitcoin outside of this downwards regression trend channel? It's going to be the US election. So we can see this momentum wave here is starting to curve back up as that VWAP line is pushing back up, just like what happened back here when there was the bear trap. Two red candle bear trap, boom, price went up. Two red candle bear trap, and now we've got a green candle. So this is a make it or break it sort of candle right here. This could be the candle that takes us out of this regression trend channel up to that key price point of $70,000. Also, when we look at the two week time frame, we can see right here on market side for B, we now have that beautiful green dot confirmed as money flow is making higher highs, just like what happened back here when there was the double top pump. I've been talking about this double top pump scenario for weeks now, and I cannot wait till we see that one candle that just breaks us out of this downwards regression trend channel and all of these bears get squeezed. And when we look at the liquidation heat map, this shows us the liquidity from longs that are opening up and then the liquidity from the shorts that are opening up on this side. It's kind of the wrong way around. So the short liquidity is green and the long liquidity is red. I don't know about you guys, but I find it quite surprising how many short positions are opening up in the market. I thought there'll be way more longs here than there are shorts. So if we try to think moves ahead, 
what picture is this liquidation heat map showing us? In my opinion, it's telling us that there might be a bear trap taking place right now because if the price of Bitcoin can move up to $65,000, a lot of these shorts here will start to get liquidated up until price hits around $67,000. And that move would look a little something like this taking price just outside of this time-tested regression trend channel. And if we can get a candle that moves up like that, momentum will probably start to resurge as money flow starts to curve back in, just like what happened back here. And from the point at which we saw that next green dot on the three-day time frame, price pumped up 168% for Bitcoin. That's without any leverage, my friend. And that is precisely why I'm still holding 50% of my long position on Bitcoin, because I want to be prepared for multiple scenarios. If price happens to come back down, I'm just going to re-add to my long position. If price continues to go up higher, I'll just scale out profits along the move up. As a risk managed trader, you want to be prepared for multiple scenarios. And ideally, you want to make profit in every single scenario and protect yourself against any downside risk. You know, I'm a big Marvel fan. I used to collect all these little figurines, bro. Growing up as a kid, if you know, you know about these little things. I got all of the comic books and everything. Being a risk managed trader is like that scene in the Avengers where Doctor Strange is trying to think about all the future scenarios just to find the one reality, the one scenario where they actually kill Thanos. Strange, we all right? Be back, you right. Hey, what was that? Going forward in time to view alternate futures, to see all the possible outcomes of the coming conflict. How many did you see? 14,605. How many did we win? One. It's the same thing with trading. You want to prepare yourself against multiple scenarios to find the one reality where you actually hit that winning trade. And then you want to manage the risk against all the scenarios where you were in a losing trade. But hopefully you've back tested your trading strategy. You know the win rate of your trading strategy. For example, one of the trading strategies that I've taught Trading Drip YouTube channel members has a 70% win rate. So that's a very high win rate trading strategy, meaning there's only 30% of realities where you don't actually make money and there are 70% of realities where you actually make money. So as you see the price of any of your investments going up, you have to always ask yourself, what if something goes wrong here? What if price goes down? What if I give back all of my profits? Or what if price goes higher? And what if I sell out too early? What scenario is going to be the most painful? Will I feel more pain if I miss out on future profits? Or will I feel more pain if I give back the profits that I have right now? And then as you see price going up over time, you have to go through that same decision-making process again and again and again. And ideally, you're just scaling out profits in a systematic way along the move up, because obviously as price gets to a certain level, you're risking giving back more profits than more upside potential. But this is where a lot of new traders mess up. As price auctions higher, for whatever reason, they seem to think price is just going to keep going up indefinitely, probably because they're watching the wrong moon boys on YouTube and all of these influencers just saying stupid shit to them. So they literally think price is just going to keep going up indefinitely. Like for example, everyone who's giving Bitcoin a price target of over $100,000 or $150,000 or $200,000 or $250,000, truthfully, no one knows. But what we do know for literally a fact, my guy, is $100,000 is going to be a major psychological price target where we know as price passes $100,000, a lot of people will probably feel a little bit uncomfortable holding the same size in their position as they were holding when Bitcoin was at $30,000 or $50,000. I learned that lesson the hard way. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to have to learn that the hard way. If you can stay consistent with trading for 10 years, by that point, you probably have learned that lesson the hard way and you know not to blindly assume that price is going to hit any price target and you're better off following a systematic process and just take profits along the move up. And if price comes back down, systematically re-add size back to your position. I hope you guys are finding value in me sharing my decision-making process on YouTube for you guys. All I ask is you consider subscribing to the Trading YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Bitcoin analysis videos just like this one.